gentlemen, allow me to introduce our next city council member, <laughs> Nick DeSantis. All right. Let's go. All right. Thank you, Ron. Yeah. Y'all are beautiful. <laughs> and I want you to know this speed started out at 50 minutes and I cut it down to 49. So we are looking good. I, I knew that you'd appreciate that. All right, so firstly, I'm hoping everybody had a couple drinks. It's going to make this speech sound a lot better. So we're going to start there. I want to thank everyone, first of all, if I can get this to stay on this podium here. I want to thank everyone. For being here, I'm Nick DeSanti. I'm running for Slidell City Council District D. I want to thank Jeremy Riley with Restaurant Cote, uh, Reed Ingram. Without them, this, this event would not have been such a success. And uh, please support Jeremy, Restaurant Cote. We have Maple Room next door. Jeremy was one of the trailblazers in Old Town when, when there was very limited investment in this area. Jeremy invested his money and he's paid his dues for Old Town. And he's one of the reasons, yes, his dedication to the community, his investment in the community are one of the reasons that Old Town is having the renaissance and growth that it's having right now. So Jeremy, I don't know, I don't see him, but oh, there he is. Give it up for Jeremy. I want to also thank all the volunteers that have stepped up during this campaign process. It's a lot of work. I'm going to say a lot one more time because it's, it's a lot of work. And without the volunteers that have stepped up, I would not be able to do this. So thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, Casey Saba, once again, where's Casey at? Great music. We appreciate you being here. Please uh, follow him on Facebook and Instagram. Go check his shows out. He does a really great job. And we have some elected officials with us tonight, and I want to make sure I don't forget anyone. We have Councilman Bill Borchard, Councilman Glenn Bichon, Councilman Eric Shives, and we also have our very own Police Chief Randy Fandel in the house. And, and thank you all for, for your hard work for the City of Slidell and for your dedication. We really, really appreciate all that you do. And uh, Tom Abney is with us. Tom is running for city council in District A. So give it up for Tom real quick. Where you at, Tom? There he is. I'm going to get rid of this mic stand. So our elected officials work hard every day to keep Slidell moving forward. And I want to get into some, some details about that, but first, a little bit about myself. My grandparents, my great grandparents came to America in the early 1900s uh, through Ellis Island. I grew up in a small suburb in Long Island, New York. We got someone from Long Island, New York here? Okay, what's up, what's up? My father is a truck driver, my mother was a bus driver. My parents have been married for over 50 years and I have two wonderful siblings, Joe and Emily. I have working class roots. I come from humble beginnings. Yet in this country, specifically in the city of Slidell, I've been able to create a decent life for myself, a respectable life. I believe in the American dream and I believe that it works. I believe even with the challenges we face as a nation that this dream is alive in cities across America just like Slidell, Louisiana. In this city of Slidell, surrounded by hardworking, fun-loving, amazing people, I've been able to build a good life. And for this, I am forever grateful and forever indebted. I'm indebted to all of those who served before me, those who have fought to protect the American principles of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Those who have led the way so we can thrive and be free. I am indebted indeed. Through my decade of service as an HOA president, I've experienced firsthand that government does work, especially small local government. 
I worked side by side with my friends and neighbors on mutually beneficial projects that promoted safety, inclusion, and quality of life. I've seen it work. In serving as a councilman in Slidell, I worked to pay back my debt to this great country and to this great city. And although it is a debt I will never fully be able to repay, I will continue to try. Our elected officials, some of whom are here tonight, work hard every day to keep Slidell moving forward. It's not perfect. It will never be perfect. It's not fast. And I'm pretty sure it'll never be fast either. But they are making positive things happen. As we strive to improve, it's important that we acknowledge the positive things that we're achieving while also being objective in the ways that we can do better. So I'd like to just touch on a couple of positive examples. I think it's important to share this with the people that are here tonight. Firstly, as, as you're all aware, Slidell faces the challenge of dealing with flooding, okay? With over 50% of Slidell existing in an AE flood zone, we are at risk. The South Slidell levee system is a 16 mile levee that will provide broad-based protection for this city. It is the most important project in the history of Slidell. I'm confident that our state and federal officials will make this project happen. It's currently in the study phase that is fully funded and it is making progress. We continue to have our most at-risk homes elevated through the hard work of our grants administrator, Tiffany Crippen with the city. Each home that is raised is one more Slidell family that is no longer at risk. It's very, very important. Mayor Cromer and his team are working on a main street development program for Old Town. They're also spearheading the Slidell 2040 comprehensive plan. These plans lay out a sound framework to move Slidell well into the future. Due to the excellent work of our, our men and women in blue, we've experienced decreases in crime year over year since 2018, even as crime increases all around us and all around the country. So please give it up for Chief Fandel and his team. <laughs> the men and women in blue that risk their lives for us every single day, thank you. With many governments mired in debt, we ran a $5 million surplus last year in Slidell. Think about that for a second. Debt exploding all over the world. Through the hard work of our city council and our administration, we ran a $5 million surplus. That's pretty, that's pretty incredible. There's a plan in place to improve our airport so larger jets can land there, G4s and G5s. That'll bring an economic prosperity to Slidell. We're renovating parks, building a skate park, and adding pickleball courts. <laughs> big things, big things for the city of Slidell. Things that everyone could be really, really excited about. Pickleball, finally. So one of the exciting things about Slidell is that there's still so much work to do, and in all of that is so much opportunity. And that's my mindset, is embracing all the opportunity that's at our fingertips. And here's some of the things that we can work on. Let's work on a more proactive approach to code enforcement. Let's maintain the standards of our neighborhoods, increase property values, and continue providing quality of life for our citizens. Let's be aggressive with our approach to litter abatement. Let's find creative ways to attract local businesses Let's explore possibilities to develop our coastline, one of our greatest assets. Let's reroute the St. Tammany Trace to utilize, to utilize the existing train trestle so Slidell can have as high quality of a trace experience as every other city in the parish. We deserve that. We're not settling for second best anymore, and we will fight. We will continue to fight for Slidell. Lastly, I'm committed to finding out why there's no longer a Waffle House float in the Slide El Marty or Florida. <laughs> and if it's, if it's my first order of business, I will figure this out. I've talked to Lee Zurich, he's gonna help me out. When, that's, when that Waffle House float came down Front Street, I would chase them for three or four blocks, loading up on these, the wooden tokens. 
and I just couldn't believe this is a free waffle I'm holding. <laughs> and, and during Lent, these alcohol and meat free waffles were really what helped me get through it. So it's a service to the people of Slido. We need the Waffle House float back. So to bring it all together, and I hope this wasn't too painful of a political speech for everyone, as your Slido City Councilman in District D, I am committed to working closely with everyone at Team Slido to keep present projects moving forward and introduce new projects that will provide value and quality of life for our citizens. In closing, I want to thank everyone who's invested in Slido. All of you who have committed to this great city, those of you who raise your families here and pursue your dreams here. Government is not easy. It takes time, it takes patience, but we are making progress. There was a dream that was slide out, and this dream will be realized. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Casey, bring it home.